Welcome, Achievers, to your Easy Achievers Game Podcast for the week of September 8th. Going to be a strange episode for this episode, as I'm not going to be doing any of the news. I wanted to just full, fully come in an episode to just discussing what have you been playing in its own episode, as Starfield is such a game that it, I think, demands an episode of just discussion. Just opening up the game, playing it, and really digging deep and talking about the game. And I wanted to just dedicate some time with you, of course, and me just talking about the game as I've enjoyed it. I hope everyone at home is enjoying it. It did only come out two days ago for regular people, unless you paid the extra to get it early on the first. But we've all had time with it, and I just wanted this to be a discussion piece about the game. So... I'm going to start us off, and remember, I want to hear from you. Comment below, tweet at me, at me, 1002 Does this a game however you want? I want to start off with, of course, the opening slash character creation. I loved kind of the opening here, right? You make your character. I had already actually made my character with, like, a little fan-made calculator one of my friends, like, sent. They, like, they already gave me something. It was like, hey, you know, you can already, like, make your guy and look at all the traits and stuff. So I already knew what I was going to go in. Of course, went Space Scoundrel. Um, I'm a, I'm out a bunch of hours into the game now, so I can't really re specifically remember my traits. I want to say it was Neon Punk. Oh, yeah, it was Neon Punk, a guy where you like grew up on Neon. And then it was Empath and Extrovert. So very centered around companions. I, I very much liked uh, putting all that together. So I started that. We, of course, started in that kind of mine area. That was very cool. This game, I'm still, as I, of course, with any Bethesda game, still don't know what the main quest is going to be ultimately about. Of course, we're trying to find these artifacts. Not big spoiler. That's the what you're doing in the very beginning of the game. But I'm curious what this is going to lead up to. Uh, I wanted to just give a quick impressions on what I think about the game so far. But right now, that main quest, very interesting. I started playing more of it last night actually to really dig some more into it and kind of find out what's going on with everything as i've been of course focusing on side quests and i really think the side quests of course just like any other this game are like some of the best i think most Bethesda games you're really finding the game on your own terms and usually that revolves around finding a side quest fo following it to its conclusion because you found interest etc so i was doing that but then of course i switched to the main quest to see what is happening over there so far i'm having a blast with this game it did take a minute not as long as other Bethesda games i feel like but it took a minute for me to really like feel like the game was going i feel like this actually gets you in pretty quickly uh the only one that kind of gets you quicker is skyrim i feel like skyrim is pretty fast and like you you start playing the game pretty quickly Fallout 3, of course, infamously takes a very long time for you to actually start playing the game. It's introducing you to a bunch of things, like, very slowly. And then Fallout 4, pretty much the same thing uh, as Fallout 3. But this gets you in it pretty fast. I, I like the environments so far. The aesthetic is very cool. I remember them saying it's kind of NASA punk. I do love that. I love the kind of aesthetic of the ships in these things. I finally made my own following a guide to make the Normandy for Mass Effect. And it looks, what's fun is it it looks like the Normandy, but it looks like Starfield. Like, it looks like something in Starfield. So I do like that. I like that they do let you get creative in terms of, you can make whatever you want, but it still kind of looks like it's from the universe a little bit. It does, of course, look unique compared to other things, but I feel like it still fits. I saw, like, a Star Trek Enterprise the other day. And I was like, it still kind of looks like it fits. It doesn't look like crazy to me, which I like a lot. I, I like that they kept the builders unique, but still let you get very creative with all the parts and these things. That's very cool. I saw the ship from Futurama the other day, too. It's just a bunch of funny stuff. So I made a school bus. Like, it, like So much creativity out there. Combat. I want to quickly like touch on. So combat is in 
such a fun spot for this game as of course if we remember fallout 3 and 4 there literally was an entire system so you could ignore shooting right uh because it wasn't great they made vats because the shooting feels pretty bad but this isn't really it's not necessary here and i like that uh and vats is kind of taking a new life in this game for the ship targeting system where you you target whatever engines and these things, but you don't even need that because I feel like everything feels pretty solid. It's no doom, of course, but it, everything feels pretty good when you're using it. Of course, you could switch from first third person at any time you want. I tried doing like so, so what I did with the first and third person things at the beginning of the game, I was be like, well, I'm going to be third person outside and then I'll be first person indoors. So just kind of, you know, make it a little different. I immediately forgot I was doing that and I've been third or sorry, first person, every thing, except when I'm flying a ship, which I'm in third person for that. So I immediately abandoned that, but I do kind of, I the third person doesn't feel terrible. It's just if the first person feels way more Bethesda makes, because that's how I've played them all. So it's hard to not do that. So I'm, I'm just probably going to stick with that at this point. But the, the, yeah, the combat, beautiful. I am playing just pistols and shotguns. For my character i just i just like that no rifles for me i like just all my pistols and shotguns i feel like they do everything i need them to do and i just want to focus on them instead of trying to introduce rifles sometimes i'll pick them up if i like see like an insane perk or something but right now i'm enjoying just pistols shotguns having a great time touched on combat a little bit let's go to um let's uh, let's uh, i wanted to discuss a little bit about the psych quest so I want to recommend the UC side quest for sure. Now, what I did, and there's different ways you can get into all these different side quests, but what I did was I went to the UC and I signed up for being a UC Marine, right? For my character, it made sense for what they're doing. Signed, it, signed up and went to follow like the little things where it's like well you gotta do this and that so i did all that and then it, it the uh, the quests eventually splinter off and you can choose which ones you want to do which i think is really really good because both of them are actually i think very great psycho so i definitely recommend going there if y'all haven't i won't be spoiling any quest things here but if you can do those that you see side quests because that gives you two amazing side quests to me at least so far maybe they fall apart near the end but Right now, I am enjoying my time with them. So go do that. I'm still very focused on those handful of side quests that you get pretty early on in the game. And the main quest, I'm level 17, I want to say. So I'm still relatively early in the game, but not, you know, still got some time to, to do some things. Made the outpost systems. I find the outposts very interesting in this game. I remember in Fallout 4, they kind of, you know, they had the, like, settlement system. I felt like that was much more necessary than this one. As this one, it just feels like you do it for fun. Because you're generally just making, you're, you're, you're generally just mining resources from outposts to make bigger outposts. That I don't think you really need that many materials for anything else. So I think it's just you do it for fun. And I'm doing it just, you know, just to do it. Set up a couple things, put some people there. And it's cool so far. Just, it's strange that that's the thing that it does. It's like, oh yeah, you, you make an outpost. It makes stuff so you can make bigger outposts. But, but, you know, it can help you in other ways. I'm just surprised that the materials in this game seem only useful for research and mods pharmaceutical you know mods all those research stations and craftable things i don't know why but i figured it would be something for ships or something in this game but it's not it's just if you want to you want a mod you want to do research you know make sure you unlock those corresponding perks and then you go to town in whatever thing you like i'm trying to get to at least like one piece of weapon engineering at least like one rank so I can start adding like cooler mods on my stuff. Uh, I haven't devoted a C I, I literally put my first skill point into science, uh, my last level up. So I've been fully focused on making my ship feel better with like targeting and uh, ma maxing out my 
a digit pick to get it to like expert so I or master sorry so I can uh, unlock anything in the game uh, after like sitting there for a while of course because because it gets it, the the digit picks get pretty hard but very fun uh, and uh, the pistol and shotgun I was talking about earlier uh, making them as strong as possible. And, of course, weight capacity and all these things. And I don't think I'm going to be very original with my or my problems with the game. I'll get to that later. Because everyone seems to have a problem with the game that I have. Uh, what was I saying? Um, lost my train of thought. Anyways. Discussing about the uh, need for the weapon engineering to fully devote more science points into... Uh, that like sci or sorry, uh, skill points into that science division. I'm gonna be start needing to do that to really expand into making things because that is one thing I'm kind of missing out on. Like the very beginning stuff is like, oh, you could put one barrel on or a different uh, magazine. Like it's not a lot of choice. So I do want to really like p pimp out my guns, and you don't even have to do that, but it's just for fun. And I want to see how cool I can make these guns on top of what they can already do because I have. I one thing I am very impressed was how different the guns feel and how cool all of them are. Right, I very much am enjoying my. Uh, I have something called the boom boom shotgun, which is like it randomly shoots an explosive round and it has like twenty bullets and it's like it's not automatic, but you can shoot it very fast. So I'm enjoying that so much. I have a pistol that looks like a Magnum. I got it from the um, Crimson Fleet quest line, and it shoots like in less than a second like six bullets like super fast which is really cool and it does a, a lot of damage but you are blowing through the mag which is very cool uh, what else i think that's pretty much everything i wanted to talk about like uh updating you on about like the combat and and all the skill points in these things skill the skills so far i i very much love because they f they feel like skills right i know that sounds strange for people at home but if you played some other games especially re in the recent uh memory uh, the skill tree have just not been good at all, right? I, I immediately think of Assassin's Creed Valhalla, some of the Far Cries, where you get a uh, level up, and it's like, yeah, you know, now you'll do 5% more damage with a with a gun. It's like, eh, it's hard to care about this when, it, when you do it for the 100th time, especially Valhalla. Valhalla was the worst with that, where it was literally 2.3.2%, like 2.325% extra stealth damage. Like, that is the worst skill tree I've ever seen in any game, probably. This one I very much enjoy because when you level up, I am really excited to use a skill point. And that's not always been the case in the last few years. Every time I get a skill point, I'm like, yes, let me go. to. I've already planned out my skill, like what I'm getting. I go straight there, unlock it immediately. Skill points and trees, very, very, I think very well done in the game. It's very fun. I love leveling up again because I, I get excited because it really does feel like you are getting a new thing, which I feel like was always the case in the earlier years with skill trees, of course, in games. And then it's just gotten worse, which is shocking to me that I, I don't know how I don't know how it has, but it did. It's it. I don't know. The level system. OK, very good. Um. I'm curious if how many people are using the persuasion system out there. I am, and I'm having so much fun with the with the persuasion system. As I always love being the guy who persuades people in the Bethesda games. Uh, like, oh, you know, I always go the route of talking someone out of a fight versus getting into one. Right? I I just like that as a character in their worlds. So I every time I see a persuasion, I go for it. Uh, we I touched on it very qu uh, quickly. I want to go back. Digipix are so fun so actually hacking something with that little mini game in this game i think might be the best hack system in any game i've ever played there are ga games where it's it was fun but it eventually gets old uh, i'm thinking of bioshock where you had the pipes and you had to like fill up the pipes to get to the very end that got old relatively quickly in that game like hanging about how with agree me like i don't want to hack this thing it's so annoying this one is very good. Now, I did love the Skyrim one, of course, with like moving the pick around um, and like trying to open it up uh, that way. I hope that, that's Skyrim, right? Pretty sure that's that. I'm almost positive that's Skyrim. So I loved I love that one uh, as well. 
Uh, is that Fallout? I don't think that's Fallout. I'm pretty sure that's Skyrim. Whatever. It's not important. But the digipick ones are very, very cool. And the more you do them, the better you get at them. So, like, even the... Ma but the master ones are, still, uh, to me, at least very hard. Because uh, I'm over here like, all right, this one, like, there, there. And then, like, you'll use too many on one. And then at the very end, you'll be like, no, nah, I needed that one piece from earlier. And it's, it's a mess, but it is very, very good. I am loving every time I have to use a digipick. Pop, 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 pop. Very easily uh getting into things very it's very fun uh, ship combat is very good just having this laser missile ballistic system is very cool it doesn't seem like you really need to learn much about ship combat you know you have your boost you can shoot with um your right trigger your left trigger and y is a missile like it doesn't seem like it's very deep so far so it's pretty easy to learn i'm having fun fighting things i wish i could fight more guys in space uh, i actually am excited when i do have to fight in space because i feel like it's rare now when, like it, it's it got like more rare the more i play the game where like it doesn't seem like i'm fighting that many people in space and i really enjoy fighting in space so maybe something will happen soon where i'll get to fight more in space but right now it's just just kind of flying around and going you know plant to plant sometimes i find people you know you gotta save them or something they're being attacked by the Crimson Fleet. You can blow up the Crimson Fleet, or you can side with the you know fleet and blow up the other people if you're a part of the the fleet, which I am right now. <clears throat> um, that's pretty much all about that. I literally have no notes. I I just want I wanted to sit and discuss Starfit with you guys. So. Did not bring any notes. I just want to make sure I'm pressing on everything I've been wanting to press on. Combat, yeah. Yep. That's pretty much it. I'm not using much of the food system, but that's the case for pretty much every game Bethesda's made. Um, the food is just whatever. I, I see food and I'm like, cool. I've already moved on from it. At first, I was trying to pick it up and eat it, but I'm good. I, I, I'm good. I think it's only really worth picking up food if you're going to invest in like the cooking in the game with like the perk gastronomy and, and things These where you'll be able to make more and more meals. Other than that, it's just you you eat to you like heal so slow from food. It's pointless once you get a few levels, I think. Uh, I want to talk about a couple things I disliked about the game um, so far. Uh, the carrying capacity of your character is abysmal and horrible and not fun. You're like you're at 165, I think, is your max a character without any bonuses. Oh, no, sorry, with a few bonuses because I have the the perk that gets you more so it's like 140 or something like that really bad it needs to be brought up just a little bit just because encumbrance just is not fun in these games i do, i'm not going so far as to say they shouldn't be there because you probably shouldn't have like thousands of cargo on your person uh because it makes the already bad ui worse when you have that much stuff on there but they need to buff it 50 points base or something like that just to just to make it not feel so punishing and you're constantly going to like storage and these things and i'm curious maybe i haven't figured it out but right now my ship cargo is so full with resources and, and it's not i'm not hoarding weapons or anything else really it's really just resources so i wonder what am I supposed to do with all this stuff? Because I have a lot of like resources that I found in the world or maybe bought for something. So am I just supposed to go like make things with this stuff? Is that what I'm supposed to go do? Maybe? I don't know if I'm being honest. Uh, I've made like a bunch of stuff for my first outpost. Maybe I need to go make other outposts or something. But I'm so full in my ship cargo already. And I'm so early in the game. I'm curious, like, what, what, I mean, it just, it's just going to get worse. So what do I do with all this stuff? Uh, so that was a big question for me. I don't think I'm going to get an answer to that. Maybe I need to do more upgrades so I could do more research projects in these things. And maybe I need to go make another outpost. Maybe that'll put a dent in my resources. But right now I'm just like, I have, I have like 900 stuff in my ship cargo. And I want to say three fourths of that is just the resources if that are found i don't want to get rid of any of them right i don't want to sell them either so like what am i supposed to do i don't want to like get rid of stuff so 
I guess I'm hoarding to a small extent, but I f aren't we going to need these resources at some point? So I don't want to get rid of any of this. I like I found like some of the unique and like rare or exotic materials that you'll need for crafting, but I'm not at that point yet. So I'm just really like trying to hope that I get to that point. So it, my ship cargo could at least go down so I can start researching more stuff to get that all out the way. I don't know, but that that the cargo is a little annoying in the game, although you can fix the ship cargo at least. The um uh God. I, I talked about it earlier. This is why I should probably make notes for these things. Ship cargo. Whatever. Getting to uh, a few more a few other things I dislike about the game. You can't eat from picking something up, right? So you have to pick it up, go to your inventory, and then eat it. That's dumb. Why is that a thing? Just let me eat it from before I pick it up. Two, um, the UI is, I mean, it really is atrocious. It's just bare bones. Like, it's its just, you made a UI with the, like, least amount of work possible. It's just, it just looks like a, like a fucking list or something. Like, there's nothing to it. It's just a list weapon. You know, it goes down to each thing and then it's over it. It's pretty bad. I'm sure I mean, it's actually kind of shocking. Now, they're not really known for how good their UI is. So I don't you know, I'm not surprised, but wow, it's pretty bad. It is shockingly bad. The, the UI. The carrying capacity. The, that's probably it. See, and what makes me mad about not being able to eat without picking it up? is uh, you can equip things off of the ground. So, like, they knew, you know, they knew enough to put that in the game. So, like, there's no other option. I don't know. So, so, so many, like, little things. It, and this is, I mean, that's Bethesda for you, right? It's the little things that they kind of don't do right. But they're very good with, like, broad, broad idea things. So it's, you, you just kind of, like, be like, you know, you're just kind of annoyed and you move on. Uh, I'm reminded of uh, the um, I uh, I noticed yesterday the bullet casings like react differently if you're in low or high gravity, which is pretty cool. Uh, and that's just one of those things where it's like, wow, the attention to detail is there. And I saw like YouTube videos, not YouTube videos, sorry, like Twitter videos of people standing there and seeing like what would happen to horizons on uh, different planets. And it all makes sense, which is very interesting and very cool. But they get all those things right, and then they get the little things wrong, like the UIs. I mean, the UI is so bad. It, it really is crazy really bad. And then, like, you can't do certain things by picking something up to make it easier. Like, why can't... Just, it's just so weird that you can't eat. Like, you have to pick it up and eat it. That's another... I think that's a follow four. It's like, why why can't I just eat this thing and... and uh, it's, there's a lot of little things like that. I do like that the... um research stuff and making stuff comp takes from your like ship cargo if it's like close to it i think or an outpost so like that's good at least like they they did that like that, that's always a worry thing is like okay well, am i gonna have to do something annoying to remind you that i have all this you don't it's very easy to switch ships that's another cool thing like if you get a new ship you just make it your home ship and all your cargo is moved and all that stuff you don't have to worry about any of that so there's a lot of cool, there's a lot of things they do right, but again, a lot of things they do wrong as well. It, this is still an incredible game. Recommend it to literally everyone, as everyone will find some value in this. Uh, unless you just don't straight up like this game uh, playstyle or something, and I highly doubt you'd click on the video anyways uh, if you saw what we're talking about. So if you are on the fence or just wanted to hear someone's thought about the game, it is very, very good, and I do recommend everyone trying this. Right now, I'm playing as like a space scoundrel s character uh, that wants to make a lot of money, pretty much. He's just kind of interested in making money. Uh, so very Han Solo, of course, like in this world. And that's pretty much all I wanted to discuss as everything else is kind of sp way too spoilery for what I wanted to make this video about. But I am happy everyone joined me for this week. In terms of just, you know, talking about this and having a good time. Thank you so much for for spending some time with me. I'm, I'm glad everyone is enjoying the game. It seems like pretty much everyone's positive about the game. That's good.
good to see that we all kind of get to share something with this game. Very happy to see that. Uh, this game will be here for years to come. I heard the new game plus is very unique and uh, makes people want to play it again. So I'll be curious to see that. And that's it for this kind of kind of side episode of the Easy Chiefs Game Podcast. I don't even know what I'm going to call this because this isn't technically an episode. It might just be just a gaming impressions episode. Anyways, thank you so much for joining. Hope you enjoy more of your Starfield time. I will see you in the next video. Go Chief.